Welcome back to In The Box. If you haven't already, make sure to follow us on Instagram at ownersbox and head over to ownersbox.com to sign up and play weekly fantasy sports today. Also, download our app on the iOS and Google Play stores. Don't forget, scroll down to like, comment, and subscribe to let YouTube know this is content you actually want to see. All right, let's pay some bills. This episode is brought to you by Landshark Lager. This island-style lager is a complex blend of hops and two-row caramel malts with a light, refreshing taste and a hint of malty sweetness. Head to your local retailer to get your hands on the tastiest island lager you've ever had. Welcome back to another episode of In The Box. This is episode number 22, you guys. And episode 22, we've come a, a quite a long way since our first episode. And, you know, we're glad to have one of the original members of In The Box back with us today. The coldest better oh, in North okay. America, <laughs> yeah, Devin yeah, yeah, yeah. Simser. Everyone, welcome back, Devin. I'll Congrats on getting engaged. Me, sure. So, you know, before we dive in, I just want to plug our sponsor at Landshark. We love you guys. Your beer is amazing. We've been drinking it all week. And, you know, if we didn't have these cans sitting right here, they'd be drinking as well. We have to use them for promo purposes, so we haven't dove into them yet. But we love you guys. We love their beer, and I highly recommend you go to your local retailer and buy as much Landshark as you can afford because it's delicious. Also, shout out to Waterloo for supporting Shout out, yeah, of us. course. Shout out to our partners at Waterloo. They're great. We love you guys, and we look forward to... Uh, keep doing business with you guys. But, you know, before we dive into our week six review, how we did and our week seven best bets, Devin, I would like you to speak on why you haven't been on the podcast as of late and why you're here today. There's a, I mean, there's a lot of new energy in the office. I don't think I've ever been on with Avery. Really? Um, We had our season preview. We did have our season preview. Um, Actually, it's going to be really interesting to see how that's going. Um, but uh, that sounds I mean, like a job that we're gonna have to fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I mean, they've been doing a pretty good job with it. I mean, uh, we're busy um, with football back in uh, in our side of the office too. So um, I think it's great. We got new energy in the office, and they're doing great with it. So some people are saying you don't come into work like every day of the week. So where are you when you're not at work? Because oh, th- when I'm not at work, I'm at home. Yeah, that would say <laughs> I, I worded that wrong. But you're not here a lot of the days. So we're worried about you, Devin. We would like for you to be on more often. So please start showing up. I think he's just not here the days that we record. You're here all the time. Oh, I was, I, I, he's yeah, here late night. Like last night, he was here yeah, till yeah. eleven with yeah. me. We were ripping it. But like, the, there, I, it's almost convenient though that you're not here when we record the podcast because your picks. You went zero and three last week, which we'll get into. Yeah. yeah. Um, is there is that the reason your picks just haven't been great, so you haven't been showing up, or is it more just you know your work schedule? Um, I mean. <laughs> I take a lot of heat, right? And it's, it's, <laughs> it's tough picking next to experts. And I mean, I mean, I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll hear a lot from from Jer about about that. But um, yeah, I mean, I mean, no, I'm not, and I'm not trying to stay away from the podcast or anything. Like, I love being here. It's been a while, and it feels kind of kind of great to be back. Yeah, but. we're glad to have you, man. I yes. mean, it's you know, you bring a great energy to this crew here. You know, our four oh, experts, I'm the, I'm guy. I would say more, I would it's say more, more of like a destructive energy. Yeah, say. we like it. No, though. Hey. We need that one guy just like to like fuck up his bets. And that's chaotic you. Like, good. Right, yeah, right, it's like right. a good, chaotic it's good. a great energy. So, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, we, fuck off. OK, we're, <laughs> we're all the chirping aside. We're glad to have you back um, and we're glad to run through our picks today. We have another great episode. You know, just before we dive in. I looked at the slate for week seven and I was fired up. Ask the boys. Like I was here till 11 last night, crunching numbers for week seven. And I I love what I have this week for you guys. And, you know, I'm sure these gentlemen next to me here also have great bets. You're definitely not going to want to miss what we have for you today. Before we dive into week seven, though, let's recap how we did in week six. Before we start, Jeremy's going to go first. And again, as you'll notice, we do our gold jacket tradition here, which is handed out to the best player who picks the most right picks of the week and Jeremy for the second week in a row is wearing the gold jacket so Jeremy before we dive into your week six picks give us a little mindset like where you're at right now how you're feeling and then just dive right into your week six picks for us First of all, I He's haven't said a word on the, on the podcast. Yet. I was just about to say. This. I haven't <laughs> talked yet. Uh, you just said false information. One, I it's not my second week in a row. I didn't. I was the only guy with a loss last week. The oh. week, week before you wore it. Though. Oh, yeah. so, so I, uh, I should just take that and ran. With yeah, it, okay. I won again. Fuck. <laughs> Look at that. 3-0. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. It's Second almost play. like he's more surprised. I actually shout out. I don't know who commented this on our Instagram because we threw up our rankings this this morning on our IG. Oh, I saw that. That, that was funny. That comment was hilarious. That was Jacob, like, Jacob Savage. Yeah. yeah. Shout out Jacob Savage 15. I think that's his handle. Pretty yeah. good tweet. Or pretty good comment. Baseball. He goes, 
Jeremy is like the Chicago Bears, <laughs> always in second place, and we're all surprised. Like that was perfect. Like that. Like Jeremy has so silently been in second place, and we're, oh each week God. we recap our picks. We're always shocked that he's still sitting there. So shout out Jack. What's it, Jack Savage? Jacob, Jacob Savage. Jacob yeah. Savage. Shout out Jacob Savage. Great, great Jack comment. I think that got like ten likes on it. Like that's yeah, a lot. Of it. Did it? I haven't Actually, even liked it. I just yeah. I look well, at it was all the laugh, LU boys. See, people yeah. think I don't know football, right? People but think they you don't know, know what I do when I'm alone. <laughs> That's what they don't. I don't want to look. I don't want to know what you number. do. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to know. You're in the lab, girl. Right? <laughs> Might be some kids watching. You guys but. don't know, but I know football. <laughs> All right. Well, shout out Jacob Savage. Can you dive into uh, your week six picks? Let's get right into it. Recap how you went three and zero last week. I mean, I'll be fast. I mean, three W's. What can I say? Uh, Lions minus three. They kicked the show. The Jaguars. Bengals. They almost won this goddamn game, and they were dogs. no. They almost didn't cover. Well, they were up twenty one zip. Right when they were up twenty one zip, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Call that a W right now. They, I also took the first half over, so uh, big on the Bengals. Uh, and then I took the over 46 and a half, and we all know what happens with my totals. That's 6 and 0 now <laughs> on the air. Uh, people are calling me the total wizard now. It was. <laughs> I did not make up that nickname. I did not make up that nickname. But now, actually, on Owner's Box, if you want to add me as a friend, I'm the total wizard. Well, actually, if, they were to, if they're actually no, going to add that. me, it's Roacher. But it's total wizard. <laughs> if you for type NFL. in total wizard, you won't find me. You will not anything. find me. No, you will not find me. Uh, over 46 and a half. Holy shit, was this ever a given? Like, there was, there was 40 points at half. I think that's right. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, so pretty much 6 and 0. I'm going to explain my next, my total this week, which everyone just put money on it because I'm going 7 and 0 because 7 my lucky number. So, <laughs> okay. So three and zero last week. Good job, Jerry. You said you were going to run through those quick, and that was the longest you've ever taken to run through your picks. Yeah, <laughs> you love that too. Legs crossed, just <laughs> buzzing in his seat. Anyways, Jerry went three and zero. Congrats, Avery. Two and one last week. Talk us through your picks. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll take two and one. It's not three and zero, but it's two and one. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. not. It's not. Oh my two. god, it's dude. not zero and three. This That's for bad. sure. Okay, okay Packers well, was I'm bad. Not going to be your crush. Packers is bad, dude. Okay. That's almost two losses in my books. Shut the fuck up. They got their ass slapped. Yeah, they did, but like, they were 10-0. Like, if this, we only played the first quarter, I would have won. 10 nothing. This isn't the presidential debate. You can shut up when he's talking, all right? Go ahead. I kind of like the rebuttal, though, Jer. Thank you. You're Makes welcome. it interesting. And just keep me on your toes. <laughs> Packers, yeah. Fuck, Sandy. You Tough. stayed off of that. I stayed. Well, well that I bet it, been, but not on here. That should have been a red flag for me. Oh, yeah. Well, the reason no is no need for that line, fucking comment, dude. The line swung though. The line in that Packers game it yeah. opened at minus three, and I was like, dude, this is a like it's abysmal. I saw it go down to two. I got it at minus two, and then it ended up going to pick them and then minus one. So I think that was why I I didn't give out that pick on the show last week just because I want to deliver you guys locks, and I was sketched out by that line movement. So that was my strategy yeah. for not giving it out. I didn't but. monitor any of that line movement, so that's my fault. Um, second, my dog, Bengals. Sweat. That was a sweat. Great pick. They were up like <laughs> that wasn't a sweat. I had the yes, team, it yeah, was, was, dude. dude was I had twenty. It. I had their team total over nineteen and a half, and that was mortal hit in the first half. And then you guys had eight and a half. I was like, this is mortal. And they came back and they literally lost. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, fuck. I forget what happened too. But that was good. Whatever. We won that one. I didn't love the pick, but they're like the COVID. It's not like there was thirteen other games you could have taken, but. I mean, sorry. You should have picked three other games. That's for sure. <laughs> um, All right, we'll get into it. <laughs> My total Chiefs Bills. I didn't know it was supposed to rain. And once I saw Buffalo looking like gloomy and shitty with that rain, I was like, this is gonna hit for sure. And it hit. <laughs> the and first drive, I was like, this is hitting. I had like no everyone's idea slipping you, all over the place. That you could have an over under at fifty eight. I don't care who's playing, but yeah, I like the under good for all day. Finding I that. always say that, yeah. Yeah, that's that's, uh, that's always a good bet. That's a college day. line right there. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I so, agree. So there we go. Two and one last week. Get your day. Um I'll take it next. I went two and one as well. I was confident about my slate. Honestly, the Steelers against the Browns minus three. I think the Browns, I said it last week. If you want to run this clip back, I quote directly said this. The Browns are the fakest news in the league. Everyone's bullish on them and I am fading them directly. That was, I wasn't even, I wasn't sweating. My heart wasn't over 60 BPMs that whole game. Like that was just <laughs> lock city. So Steelers minus three, easy play. This dog, I faded you on both my, my oh, fave and my man. dog dev. Eagles plus eight backdoor city on that one. Um, honestly, I was least confident about this pick. You know, the Ravens, I thought they were going to come out, and they were covering the whole entire game. The entire game. The entire game until the last. I mean, there was two touchdowns unanswered at the end by the Eagles, and 
you know, looking into tonight, like I'm, I'm looking to lean the Eagles tonight, but this game, they came back, backdoor city, Carson Wentz, man down. I mean, they had injuries all over the place and they still got it done. Um, Jamon which was a win, you know, was hilarious. And I also hate the Eagles too. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I wanted to take the Ravens, but I, I couldn't take like anything over a touchdown spread. Like I love the Eagles at, so I took them. That was a win. 2-0 there. And then my total, this was a fucking joke, honestly. Cowboys, Cardinals over <laughs> 54 and a half. The total ended at 48. Um, <laughs> it was 38 to 10. It should have been like fucking 38 to nothing. The, the the Cowboys are so bad. So I don't think I'll ever bet on Andy Dalton again to score me points. I think that was criminal to watch. And the Cardinals D this year hasn't been has been nothing great, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, they've they've no. they lost to the Jets. No, they beat the Jets. Or they lost they lost to some bad team. They lost to the Lions. Lost lines exactly, but they, yep. they gave up points to the Jets too. So I was like, I'm going to see points in this game. I was criminally wrong there, so I take a loss on that one. Two and one overall. Looking to make a big splash this week. Devin, take us through your picks. Boo! <laughs> All right, this. I mean, there's no secret anymore. Yeah, I went zero and three. Um, <laughs> it's the first time that I've been shut out. Uh, I think I learned last. some things though. I, I, I learned some valuable lessons with these picks and these losses. I mean, you don't. You don't bet for your team. That's that's a double loss if, if they lose. I mean, they didn't lose the game. They, they barely pulled out a win. But when your team is so good that in the second half, they're just going to say, like, fuck it preseason, throw out the second stringers, you're not going to get covers. So, I mean, I learned that the hard way. Um, did not think that the Eagles would be anywhere close. I thought that was going to be a double-digit game, and that's what it was looking like. So, uh, tough loss. I'm not going to say that anybody else could have told me that that was going to happen. Um, Browns plus three against the Steelers. Uh, I mean, take a look at it. I mean, I've, I, pl- I clearly played an emotional week. <laughs> I'm, an, <laughs> I'm a Ravens fan. I bet against the Steelers. That's going to happen every single time. And they burn me. And it hurt. It, again, that's another one that hurt double. Um, and then Washington Giants over 42 and a half. Like, <laughs> I, I go out there with my friends from high school. I score more than 42 points against the Giants <laughs> and the, the Red, uh, the football team. Sorry. So, I mean, like, who, t- who knew? Like, that was just dumb, dumb week. We'll bounce back. It's not going to be that bad ever again. Yeah. And, promise? Know, we'll, we'll, promise. Is that a, is that a sign seal deliver promise for our listeners? Because <laughs> I don't think many people listening right now of our 150 subs are actually going to listen to your picks. No, we're losing confidence. I mean, I'm still... I'm still <laughs> but you know what you're due for a bounce back eventually. I'm not below 500, and I've had an 0-3 week, so you, it chalk has been a bad on, week. He's been on a terror. I know, but you got to stop betting the Ravens, dude. It's just, I know. you got to stop. I mean, these people... Bet are with listening. your head, not your heart. Yeah. yeah. I'm, out, exactly. I'm out on the Ravens. I can't do it this week. They they took themselves away from me with a bye week, so... <laughs> so I can't, I can't pick them. All right. Overall, 0 and 3 dev for bounce back this week, though. How do you think it can't get be- worse before we dive into week seven? Literally can't. <laughs> before we dive into week seven, how confident are you in your slate? Um, I, you know what? I, I took a look at the games this week, and there's not very many of them because there's a lot of bye weeks. I think there's going to be a lot of upsets this week, but I think that I picked the right ones. All right, good. So you heard it here. Um, Jared, you want to dive in? We're going to cap week seven. These are our best bets segment. This is my favorite segment. I get so fired up for this because, you know, I am 14 and 4 in the season. Um, and we're all over 500 as a group. I think that's great. I mean, if you guys like winning money, which I'm sure everyone listening to this podcast specifically does, then you got to tail us. We're, we're on a heater right now. And we said it week one don't let the boys get hot. Uh-uh. We say it every week. And we're going we're gonna to talk college football too. What'd you go last week? College Seven football. and four. Seven and four. Like, we don't know. We don't even speak below 500. That's not in our vocabulary. Like, you guys got to get in, watch this segment. We're going to start now with Jer with his week seven favorite underdog total and player of the week. Jer, take us off. Favorite, I got the Packers minus three and a half. I think they're going to absolutely fucking destroy the Texans. It's not even going to be a close game. Uh, the Texans are fake news. They're not good at football. They were. Uh, Romeo's going to come in. They think he's fucking making a difference. He's not making a difference in that team. Uh, the record sucks. I know they had a good game against the Titans, but they're gonna get their ass kicked. Uh, underdog, I actually had a trouble had troubles picking an underdog. This was tough, but I think the Cardinals plus three and a half because they're at home. Uh, Four twenty five game is nothing to do with why I picked them. But uh, the Seahawks are undefeated, and at some they're point, going as the Seahawks. Yeah, at some point they're gonna lose a game, and this is gonna be. They've been in some close games, yeah, they almost have. losing to the Vikings. Like stuff like that. Like they're gonna the lose rain. a game. Every At one point, within five yeah. points, I think. At I hate one, to say it, I kind of like that yeah. pick too. One Angela game, Cardinals. they're gonna. It's not gonna. Like they're not gonna. It's not gonna be on the it's right side. Chance though. isn't gonna be on the right side. Uh, Cardinals looked fucking 
amazing last game. Kenyon Drake, shout out to him, amazing player. Uh, <laughs> sure, he's had a rough year, but two yeah. touchdowns. I called three, close enough. Uh, total. <laughs> now I'm six and zero on totals. Everyone knows that here. Uh, this is like Lions Falcons over fifty five. They're two terrible defenses going at it indoors. I believe. I believe it's actually they're both indoors, right? Which game Who? are we talking about? Lions Falcons. Yeah, yeah, they're both, both yeah. indoors. This is going to be just like at least some like 30-30 type of game. I can so see it. So I can see an over 55 here. I, uh, I like the Lions. I fucking love your slate, Jer. I'm going to say it. I Thank like you. it. Thank you. And then actually I'm going to start giving an honorable mention for the totals because I've been that good. And it's the under in the 49ers-Patriots game. 43 and a half. I think it's going to hit. It's crazy to say, but... It's right. just such a shitty it, style I mean, game. Sure come play. I mean, if you're gonna give an honorable mention yeah. as my pick, that's just fucking yeah, bullshit. That's bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. buddy. You know I'm the total. That's wizard. just ensuring your stupid uh, loss. No, you're gonna but take. I took the thing is, player of, of the game. I have Julio Jones. Scratch that. Fuck that. I'm going Aaron Rodgers. He's gonna. <laughs> he's gonna be the. He's gonna have the most points. This is our clip of the he's week. He's gonna for be. Sure. <laughs> he's gonna be number one QB on our system this week. I'm calling it right now for points wise, fantasy points wise. That's my picks. Nice. I like that energy. Good shit. Thank you, Jeremy. Okay, favorite. I hate this pick. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, no. I I'm, have, I'm, I, no, I like Cowboys. It. It's at a pick 'em right now, so that's what I'm taking it in. So Cowboys money line uh-huh. um, against Washington. It's gonna be the worst. The <laughs> toilet bowl. Dude. Holy crap! So if, if you I'm win, just, you're supposed to win. If you lose, you look like a dumbass. Okay, so there are no stats that can like calculate how bad these two football teams are. That's what I wrote down on my notes. And I just think. <laughs> Fucking Dallas has like more offensive weapons. Like Washington, oh. Washington lost to the Giants. And I think the Cowboy are the Cowboys are seven points better than the Giants. So just based on that, that's why I think they're gonna win. Um, are you literally? What are you? Okay, okay. It's all right, Devin. It's my turn. <laughs> um, Steelers plus one against the Titans. I'm not, I love it. I, I love hate it. the Titans. Um, the Steelers mm-hmm. are four and one against the spread this year. Pittsburgh's five and two straight up in their last seven against the Titans, and Pittsburgh is ten and one straight up in their last eleven October games, and the Titans are only two and four against the spread in the last six. So taking the Steelers, Derrick Henry going up against a good run defense, yeah, I would like to see that. I mean, I'm sure he'll still run for 120 yards, but I'm hoping Tannehill doesn't have a great game, and that's how they get all their offense. And I think the Steelers' offense is good enough to, uh, against the Titans. I like that you're fading the Titans because we've gotten burned on them a few times this yeah. year. I, like, I have first. I know back. you and I rode that like week two game. Yeah, the in, Bills, in Vikings, Minnesota, Vikings. dude. I never Bills. forget that. That fucking. I had the teaser. I barely covered that, but that was a brutal loss on that spread. So I'm, I'm happy you're fading them. Like this slate too, honestly, boys. Not too bad. Both you no. guys. I think you guys have both have great slates this week. Wait, got my total still. Oh, my bad. Yeah, <laughs> we're good. That's a bad. Niners game. Patriots over forty three and a half. The total has gone over in four of the last six New England games played on a Sunday, and but the total has gone under in thirteen of the last seventeen October games from these two teams combined. So that means take the under, and I'm taking the over. Not, yes, you know, that's yes. that's what helped me win games. Uh, just fade the public, fade the noise. So I'm taking the over, and my way. player is going to be Justin Herbert against the like Jaguars. Him. That makes yeah, sense. I like that. Thanks, guys. All right, I'll take us off. Um, you know, currently still in first place at 14 and 4, which is pretty good, by the way. Um, but my favorite of the week this week is the Los Angeles Rams minus six versus the Chicago Bears. I love this play. I was sitting in front of my desk last night at like 10 30, um, and I was looking at this line. I'm like, is this real? The Rams might win by two touchdowns. Like, I think the Rams win by 14 points in this game. I think the Bears will score minimal points, under 20 for sure. Hammer their team total under, even though I haven't done that yet. <laughs> but I think the Rams minus six is my lock of the week, and it's also my favorite of the week. So get that in, Rams minus six. My dog of the week is the Denver Broncos plus 10 versus the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm, you know, looking at some numbers. I like, you know, Denver to keep this close. I think it's a three. I think it's a three-point game. I think they lose by three. Snow. Yeah, snow. 10 points is a lot in weather, too. Big factor there. Um, I like the Broncos. I don't love, love this pick, but it's my dog of the week. There's not great dogs that I really examined mm-hmm. last night and was confident yeah, in. So I, agree. I like the Broncos plus 10 in this matchup, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it snows. Like, but she's played the Broncos in the snow last year in Kansas City. Yeah, and I like Broncos D. I like, you know, they'll run the ball, keep the clock down. I, I think 10 is a comfortable position here. So that's my dog of the week. And then my total is going to be, you know, one of the best offensive games of the week, mm-hmm. in my opinion. The Seattle Seahawks coming off a bye and the Arizona Cardinals coming off a whopping win in Dallas. I got the over. 
55 and a half. I love this play as well. Um, this is right up there with my Rams play. I'm really confident in this. Mm -hmm. I actually got burned on a Cardinals over last week. As I, I was going to say, this is yeah. eerily similar yeah. to what you did last week. I know, but I actually, it's not Andy Dalton, can't the quarterback. It. It's, it's, it being a it's arguably MVP it. candidate, um, yeah, Russell Wilson. So I just, I think there's a lot of points here. I'm really looking forward to this game. Can't wait to see it. I think it's on the Sunday night, right? No, nope. it's uh, 425. 425. Good. Attaboy. Way to look at those numbers. But anyways, I like my three picks. And then my player of the week, I changed it actually mid-episode. That's got some fresh ink on it. Ezekiel Elliott. Bounce back week for him. Butterfingers. Dude, he has been catching, <laughs> he's been catching so much heat lately over the last couple of days because of his game. Rightfully so, of yeah, course. But being I love Zeke this week. I think I, I've drafted him in pretty much 90% of my owner's box drafts this week. Thank God. He's going to have a huge week this week. Against the football team from Washington. He's projected low on our system. Well, buy low, buy low, sell motherfucking high. Yeah. Zeke Elliott, <laughs> player of the week. You like ride it. Can't sell high on our platform. Devin. <laughs> <laughs> Devin, take us off. Um, see, I've been watching you guys go through your picks here, and then I keep peeking down at mine, and you know what? I'm honestly a little spooked. Um, I'm it's having spooky a spooky season. Uh, it, is, it is. It is. <laughs> I'm a little nervous coming in uh, from last week. I, I riding the nerves, I guess, but. Patriots over the Niners. I for minus two. I don't know how you can't take that. I mean, well, the they Niners, just lost. <laughs> what they just lost Say the it. Broncos at home. Yeah, Broncos are not. They had shitty. two practices in two weeks, though. That doesn't. Yeah, that fucking Drew matters. Drew Locke hasn't played in four weeks. The Niners suck. Okay, they don't. They don't. They have just a beat the Rams. No, they they are, they are terrible on paper. They don't have a defense. They're literally trading for like 2017 fifth round picks, hoping that they can get a spark for a pass rush. Cam's gonna run all over them. He's not gonna lose two in a, two. It sounds in a, like a fade a me segment. It is. I don't. I do I, think. I'm, telling uh, you, I'm sitting here on my nerves. I'm a little bit nervous. I, but but talk to me next week. I think Devin's right though. The Raheem Moster losing him, like, makes a massive difference in that offense. Yeah, that screws. They me They were over. terrible in the second half. Garoppolo has given you nothing to be confident about. I'm confident um, in Nick Mullins. Right. I'm confident in Nick Mullins. Is he starting? Is he getting the nod? No. no. Is he even the Jimmy, backup? Jimmy G. Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. I thought Bethard was back up last week. They did. It's a fucking shit show after. Um, <laughs> and, and that's what I'm talking about. Okay, Raiders <laughs> as my dog. I, I like, like the Raiders. Well, I, I actually yeah, like I this like pick. It. Yeah, at home. Raider Nation, shout out to Sheriff. They I'm, love us. I'm glad. Yeah, Raider Nation's big yeah. on Twitter. Dude, yeah. my buddy runs a Raider Nation account, and he has like a couple thousand followers. That's no, who keeps maybe that's Dude, Raiders, I don't even know how to say it, but he's a fucking Raiders legend. Famous. You got to yeah. follow that account. No, I love the Raiders. I mean, the Bucks are a really good team, which is why they're in a clear underdog. Um, I mean, but I mean, they're phenomenal on on offense. Derek Carr somehow just came up with all this clutch factor. Henry Ruggs too. Year. I'm all in on Henry Ruggs, mm. buying in on him. And uh, and one of our sleepers this week, Nelson Aguilar. I wasn't big on that, but then <laughs> I, I got looking into it and like the guy's been decent. Nelson Aguilar's not even a sleeper this week, bud. <laughs> He's he, I love him. He I'm was an option. Our, he was, he a, was an option. He was an option, but we, 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 we rolled we away from him. him. Yeah, yeah, we didn't. All right. Well, yeah. you heard earlier that I don't I don't come to work, so I didn't know that. He's supposed to be the status guy that is aware of these things. Yeah. Yet he is. Well, no, that's a content thing. That's we not a status. We did Hooper, Scott, and Kirk this week. Yeah, it's oh, we yeah. Went. Austin I mean, Hooper's our tier one. Week. Week. Austin Hooper's our tier one. Um, <laughs> Christian Kirk's our tier three. Like I love Kirk Christian Kirk. Get, yeah. And then yeah, Austin Scott's our tier week. two. Yeah, he did have an unreal week. Um, um, anyways, keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then for my total pick, Steelers, Titans, over 50 and a half. I hate this I hate this too. Total, right. yo, total oh, that's wizard. good. If we all hate it, that means it's probably gonna hit. Yeah, exactly. that's right. That's right. That's right. Because we can't, we can't win them all. But I mean, y'all took overs. I had to take an over. Unders are for little dicks. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I've got. <laughs> all right, I mean, uh, Avery. And then your player. Actually, What's your no, player, you of the over. player of the week? Player of the week is gonna mind. be Cam, and that's how that's how I think the only reason the uh, the Patriots pull that one out Holy minus two. Crap, as Cam, as he's well. running. He's running at least two touchdowns. Throwing at least two touchdowns. Dude, He's gonna be huge this week. That sounds good for my over. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. fine. I mean, thank you, Devin. I'll support that. Anyways, that was our week seven segment for our best bets. You guys are gonna see if you don't follow us on Instagram at Owners Box. We post them every Sunday morning around eleven a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Definitely check us out there and on Twitter at Owners Box. We put them there as well. Um, again, we're hot. We're coming off a big week six. We are ready to print this week. So definitely tail us this week. Before we check, before we check out, Ave. Mr. 7-4 and four last week in CFB. Give us your college football best bets. Okay. I have a fuck ton of them. Welcome back to the Big Ten, <laughs> my favorite conference. I'm so excited for the Big Ten, and I'm excited to win more money. Okay. 
first pick, Illinois plus 19 and a half versus Wisconsin. Last year, Illinois beats Wisconsin. Um, I don't love Wisconsin, so I'm taking this. Big Ten is going to be kind of fucked the first couple of weeks, so it'll be interesting to see how these teams uh, play out. Florida State plus five uh, against Louisville. Louisville plays Notre Dame last week, covers a spread, only gives up like 13 points. Terrible game. Florida State beats North Carolina. Kind of a letdown week possibly for Florida State, but I think Norvell will have his team ready to go, and I think they cover this and win the game. Uh, Notre Dame minus 10.5 first Pitt. Pitt, good defense. Their quarterback kind of played well last week against Miami to cover that spread. Notre Dame, I've lost two weeks in a row on them, but I think they finally cover this week. TCU, Oklahoma, over 59.5. These two teams are in top 10 of pace of play in all of college football, so I'm taking the over. Baylor plus nine versus Texas. Texas is not wearing any Texas or any names on the back of their shirt. Their uh, their mascot's getting sued. Uh, this is a classic take Texas, but I think Texas is so bad that I'm taking the Jailer Bears. Plus nine. K-State, <laughs> K State minus 20 versus Kansas, Sunflower Showdown, Puka Williams Jr., the best player at Kansas, opted out this week. Kansas is shit. Les Miles had COVID. K-State minus 20, go Cats. Penn State <laughs> minus 5.5 versus Indiana. Penn State coach resigned last week. Uh, this not is, for a shower scandal, though. I hope not. <laughs> Nothing's come out yet. Penn State minus five and a half. This is, I think this moved because of the Penn State shit going on right now. Yep. So I'm going to take Penn State this week. <laughs> this one's kind of kind of fucky. This is a potential letdown game. Alabama minus 21 versus Tennessee. Tennessee has a new quarterback this week. Uh, I don't like, don't take Alabama first half. I think this is a game that they start slow based off a big win last week against Georgia. But I'm taking them minus 21. Fresno State, Hawaii, over 67. I just love points on the West Coast. Give me <laughs> the points. This 67. is like a seven. This is a 425 game, Holy maybe a 330 fuck. game. I love points on the West Coast. Give me the <laughs> points. Boston College, minus three and a half versus Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech is the worst football team I've ever seen play. Boston College had one good game. I don't really watch Boston College that much, but I know people like them. So minus three and a half against Percy Georgia Tech. Jr. This one. Has me. This has my brain in a blender. This is me too. Honestly. Minnesota plus three versus Michigan. Michigan should not be favored. The wrong team is favored in this game. Michigan is a bunch of frauds. They are shit. Minnesota plus three. PJ Fleck, row the boat. Row the Go boat. Go Gophers. Uh, SMU minus two and a half versus Cincinnati. Uh, Shane Bouchel. I like him. SMU kind of fucks me sometimes. I don't love this game, but I'm taking SMU. Uh, UNC. Oh, they blew it last week, dude. Did they ever? They fucked me. <laughs> But we're back on it. They're wearing all blue this weekend. They look good. (laughs) NC State. uh, Fuck. Their defense sucks. So uh, UNC, Mac Brown's going to have his boys ready to go. And then finally, this one is a homer pick. Uh, I don't know if you guys should take this one, but I will I will take Ohio State every week. I don't care who they're playing. What does that say? Minus 26? Minus 25 and a half. Minus 25 and a half. What oh, does that great, say? Uh, great. Is, he's got his cup in the way, and I can't see there. Ohio State, I will Vision. take them every week, no matter what. Let's ride. Avery Shenye, boys and boys and girls. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to start doing this segment. You know, we got to come up with a name for it, like Avery's CFB corner, like this, the or this yeah. Avery's corner. We already Fuck do that Jeff. with Jeff. So call I love West Coast points. points. I love, Avery, no, that, we need to make shirts. I love points on the West Coast. <laughs> yeah. I would buy that merch. I'd rep it. But definitely stay t- tuned into our episodes. We'll be doing this every week now. I mean, he's he's on a rocket ship by himself. One man rocket ship. We're all trying to get on board. <laughs> we all I love these take picks. That's that's One, what we're gonna start I doing. should just blindly tail all of yeah. these bets. And I'm, I'm, I love college football, but I I'm hate not. being responsible. There, but there's no way you go less than 500 on them. <laughs> Impossible. So you, so you take them all and you win, buddy. Please. There you go. Yeah, I'm we're gonna, gonna take be, them all this. Yeah, I'm me back. too. Let's just sprinkle on all of them. Yeah. Now we're fucking talking, lads. Now Let's we're gonna go. Love that energy. Anyways. Great episode today. We covered our week six recap, our week seven best bets of this week. We also talked CFB and some other great, hilarious content with our guy, Dev. Dev, thanks for being back on the pod. We're looking to have you on future episodes, and we will see you guys next week. Let's print. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, head over to ownersbox.com to sign up and play weekly fantasy sports today. Also, download our app on the iOS and Google Play stores. 